What is up all of my friends from YouTube? It's a beautiful day out. We're in the summertime. COVID seems to be over for now. And we have behind me the Prelude. The fifth gen Prelude has finally exited the garage. It runs and drives. I drove it around the neighborhood. Um, and you know, everything for the most part is good to go. I still have a very, very stubborn leak on the oil pan bung um, that I need to seal up. In fact, uh, when I drove it around, it was leaking on the driveway here a little bit. Got to clean the spots. But all in all, we have the new valve cover on it. I did this little thing everyone keeps on asking me, is this glass? Is this glass? No, this isn't glass. This is one of the like pool rubber hoses that you can get from like Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't think I'm going to have this on permanently only because it expands a lot. It's really smushy like that. I could put a spring in here, but I don't know how it's going to hold up to the heat long term. I might mess around with that just because it is cool. But right now I just have water in there, um, no coolant. So yeah, there might be some residual coolant. That's why it's got that color. But uh, ultimately this is the new setup. We have the Pulsar tur turbocharger. I TIG welded new dump and down pipe. Um, so it all fit in here. I actually like this design better. Uh, it's a lot more clean. Um, so this will definitely be nice. I have to do something with the crankcase ventilation yet, um, just because I haven't situated where I want to put that. If I did a backfed intercooler, I would have room over there, but I don't. So I'm contemplating putting it over there, maybe down in this well near the radiator, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but all in all, the car is extremely dirty. I painted a 2012, I think it was 2012, Honda Civic over the winter time that I bought. It was a collision vehicle. Um, I should say it wasn't a collision. And I repainted the entire front hood, bumper, and fender on the thing, and then sold it. That's my hobby. That's why I have these cars here right now. Um, sometimes I buy salvage vehicles. Sometimes I buy, buy vehicles from other people to sell, to put more money into my Prelude, um, or to buy more tools, because you can never have enough tools. Um, we also got the Tesla here, the Model S. Uh, or sorry, the Model 3 uh, with, uh, this is a 2021, so it's all blacked out. It has no chrome, which is freaking awesome. And we also got my dream truck. Um, I think some of you guys knew that I was driving that 94 F-150 uh, that I bought for 1200 bucks. Uh, six years ago, sold it for 1200 bucks, but this is the new truck and this is a, uh, diesel. This is a six heaven, six, seven power stroke. Um, it, uh, needs a little detail because it, it is, uh, used. It was not brand new, but this is the black ops, uh, package, Tuscany black ops package with the six inch lift comes with the wheels. Um, and it is just a beautiful truck. It's on a Lariat platform f-250 like i said six seven power stroke so it is freaking beautiful i've already been detailing this um and i'm really excited to do some videos with that as well but all in all this is starting to become like a crazy car house if you look at this you got all these cars here you got the truck and then we still have our old house uh which is my first rental property back in the day uh that we lived in when we got married and we still have another car down there too, the, the, the Thunderbird. I almost said Firebird, sorry. Um, but let's go and clean this thing up. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. So if you guys wanna watch some car porn, here it is. Boom. All right, so after I gave the Prelude a bath, of course, I jacked the car back up and I go underneath and that leak is not from the oil pan. It is from the weep hole on the water pump. So if you didn't know, there are two little weep holes, one right here and one above. 
for your water pump, which is right here. This is the crank uh, and pulley and stuff. Well, what ends up happening is there's a seal that goes around the shaft for the water pump. And if that seal goes bad, it starts getting water in those bearings and it starts weeping out this hole or the top hole. So I'm going to end the video here because as you can probably tell, I got another video to make to show you how to change a water pump inside a prelude. So uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you later. Bye.